must fight evil, no matter where, no matter when, and no matter what the cost. This is Unit 7. I require emergency assistance code 1050 1052. Say that, James. It wasn't your fault. Can you imagine hitchhiking through Europe at 17? When she first told me that, I hit the roof. I said, no way. So she just ran off with her boyfriend. They found him in that van with her. A couple of weeks ago, you know, she called and, uh, well, we actually made up over the phone. So she was going to come home. And then yesterday, the... What have the police come up with? You know that the police said that thousands of kids disappear every year. Alex, I want a leave of absence. Oh, well, now what are you talking about, James? What's that going to solve? I'm thinking about all those other parents, of all those kids who are still alive. I want to find them. I want to find those people, and I want to stop them. For the sake of those kids. I don't know. I don't know. And I promise I'm going to help you do it. Inspector Pelletier, thank you so much for coming this time of night. Under these circumstances, it wouldn't matter what time it was. I brought photos of the accident and everything we've got to date. Hello. Oh, that's Catherine's boyfriend. And that's Catherine. Mm -hmm. They were so young. Well, they're not tied. There's no sign of a struggle. So how do we call this a kidnapping? Which is a theory down at the station. Do you have anything on the other victim? Only Kendall's daughter had any identification. God, how the hell did kids like this end up with a low life like that? Huh? The investigation is a little out of our area. Our hands are tight. Fortunately, ours aren't. Yeah. Bye-bye. It's getting too risky, Burroughs. We have to find a way out of this. There's only one way out, Antoine. We place them. 
We deliver the merchandise and we're off the hook. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one that's got to do the replacing. And I'm the one that's got to deliver them. Do you think it's easy keeping three teenage kids under wraps? And this will not make getting them any easier. We don't have any choice. We've already taken half the money. If we don't deliver, you know what they'll do to us. You want out, right? Give me back the money you took. We'll deliver. But you also have some tracks to cover. Madame, can I have a coffee, please? How's Helene getting on? Well, she's going through the data banks, trying to match the victim's description with uh, records of missing children. Well, we'll keep her busy. The trouble is a lot of families don't even report their missing kids. Yeah, I know. The well, way you hear about the subject, the sicker it gets. Yeah. What about the driver? Well, his name is André Bonneau, age 26, according to his license. There's only one problem. He doesn't exist. The license was a fake. Oh, great. Any more on Apex leasing? No, not really. It's a small leasing company. They run trucks and vans of all sizes. Out of Marseille. The owner's name is Marcel Carpentier. He has no record. It seems his operation is clean. Well, will you ask JJ? No. Have the plane ready for the morning. We've got one stop to make the leave from Marseille at 11. OK. Merci, Alain. They just faxed the autopsy report. The kids were heavily sedated. These kids didn't have a chance. What the hell are you doing here? The police has been crawling all over this place. And I told you I didn't want to your lousy business. I didn't want to get involved. They're just trying to scare you. Well, they're doing a damn good job. Are you really telling me that nothing more can be done in these cases? Not exactly, Mr. Sinclair. And fortunately, things are different in France. Well, even if they're children. You must understand, Mr. Sinclair. Our procedures regarding missing children aren't nearly as advanced or well organized as they should be. Madame, that is an excuse, not a solution. No one understands the limitations of my job more than I do. I have children of my own. And whenever a case like this reaches my desk, I want to run home and lock them safely in the house forever. And that's not a solution either. Oh, madame, as you know, in this case, there's been no ransom demand. The children were found drugged. We believe we're dealing with something really pretty ugly. You can tell Mr. Addington I will do everything I can. Difficult case, sir. Funeral of a youngster. Awful hard to take. Now, have you made any progress on the other victims? Well, we have one very good lead, sir, but I'm afraid we are a bit snowed under. It's enough to make me sick of humanity. Thousands of children go missing. Every year, all over the world. Yes, sir, we've all seen the statistics from the international police files. I mean, most of the kids who go missing are taken back by one of the divorced parents. I'm afraid they're the easy ones to find. The ones that haunt me... The ones that end up as... junkies or hookers or in unmarked graves, or just disappear entirely. 
Now, who's, who's doing all this? I mean, who makes them disappear? Oh, the pedophiles, the pimps, even the white slavers. I mean, last year in the Caribbean, the cops on Earth, the gang who were snatching children for organ transplants. Peter, you, you get a fix on what we're really up against here. Yes, sir. Yes, I'd like to speak to Suzanne Addington. She's on the line at the moment. May I ask who's calling? You can tell her it's her father. If you want to look at these guys, I just copied all the files from Apex. Records, logbooks, and rental reports. Let's take a look at this stuff and then go talk to these guys. Okay, thanks. I'm afraid it's not going to be that easy. Why? Well, the owner, Marcel Carpentier, was found dead in a ditch last night. What about the dead driver? Well, according to the lads at Interpol, he's little more than a minor player in the underworld. Glorified errand boy. Well, we still got the Apex files. Yes, sure. So, why don't you just have a little route around and see whether we can find a pattern? He didn't use his fake license to rent only one truck. He rented a bunch of them. You were looking for a pattern, Peter. You got it. Good. One rental after another, all one way, all along this one particular route. Bingo. East side. Fine. That Apex trucking. Yeah, you know those truckers, boy, they love to talk. Yeah, good luck. Oh, uh, Gabrielle, are you following up on those uh, other children who died in the van? Yeah, I have a lead on a couple of their families. I'll get some background on them. Where will you be? Yeah, I've got a meeting with some chums at Interpol. But first, I'm going to call James Kander. See if I can find out what happened to Catherine over her last couple of days. made a mess out of this place. The police wanted to see everything, as if Mr. Carpentier's killer was hiding the file in cabinet. How well did you know your boss? I worked for him. How about his friends? Look, monsieur, you're an investigator, so go investigate over at the police station. I've work to do. Cops are trying to find your boss's killers. I'm looking for this guy, Andre Benoit. Know him? Yeah, he rented trucks from us. That's all I know. Where did he live? I don't know. There were kids in that van. Where was he taking them? Look, lady. Those kids were somebody's children, and they drowned. They didn't have a chance. Now, the sad thing is, they were probably better off dead than where he was taken. So I'm only going to ask you nicely one more time. Masa and you, the guy. They grew up together. Is that why you let Andre rent that van on a fake driver's license? Marcel was afraid of him. Andre had dangerous friends. Not nearly as dangerous as I can be. That's Francine. It was her 12th birthday. When was the last time you saw her? Six months ago. We had a fight. Looking at this, it's hard to believe it ever happened. 
They grow up so quickly. One minute they are blowing out candles, and the next they're arguing with everything you say. But did you try to look for her? You reported it. Right away. That's when the real nightmare began. We did what we could. We went to her friends, we talked to the police. It take them months just to process all the paperwork. And do you know, if your missing child turns 18 during the investigation, they just closed the case, not considered the runaway any longer. This photo album is everything I have left of Francine. This, and my memories. I saw everything. It was a terrible accident. And then we opened the back of the truck. I couldn't believe what I saw inside. Well, don't punish yourself. It wasn't your fault. It can be a really lousy job sometimes. Yeah. Tell me about it. So, what do we have to go on here? Hmm? Not much, I'm afraid. Very few personal effects. Uh -huh. And this one is Catherine's. Yes. What's this? Could be from anywhere. Okay, now here we have the locations and itineraries of all the small vans that Apex was running over the last couple of months. According to their computer printouts and what you were able to find out from the truckers themselves. But we do have this picture of the ticket stub found on Catherine's clothing. What show did she take in? A rock concert. One night stands. I remember I had a boyfriend once and he was playing in a band. And they would always go from place to place. And some kids would follow them. Sometimes they wouldn't even go home for months. Rock shows, groupies, hangers on. Heaven for kidnappers. I call Helen. She may be helpful. Good. Excuse moi. What are you listening to? It's rap. I thought so. That's all my little brothers ever listen to. But I don't understand it. It's just noise to me. It's good. You should listen to it. Yeah, maybe I should. Well, I have some tapes in my car. My brothers leave them in there. You want to come listen to them? So, how's the world of rock and roll? Oh. <laughs> you mean this modern form of music based on a 12-bar blues progression? <laughs> Far out, man. Well, it brings back memories. Well, don't tell me you were a groupie. No. I managed a band in university. Mm. Well, anyway, you know that van movements? You've documented? I think it's documented, not documented. Are you sure? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I couldn't find any tour that matched. Oh. Well, so much for my hunch. Well, maybe not. There is a booking agent who told me that there was a circus, a traveling circus, that was based in a town not far from the accident. And does its schedule coincide with any of the van pickups? Does. Where is it now? Traveling to Paris. Uh -huh.
tickets for tomorrow night. Here you are, Mr. Sinclair, but I don't see how these are going to help. Well, if the kids in the van really were going to be merchandise, as we rather suspect, it's not unusual in a case like this that somebody made a sizable down payment. Well, and if they have? Well, if they have, whoever that somebody is isn't going to be too happy not to have received the goods, which means that whoever's stuck in the middle is going to have to pay back or pay up. You mean replace the victims? Well, it's uh, quite possible. Which means that any one of these new runaways could find themselves as a substitute. Uh -huh. See? Right here. Sylvie Renault, last seen yesterday, hitchhiking 415, Valence to Paris on the A50. That's exactly the same route as the circus took. Which circus? Gerard Beaumont. It's the only lead we have. Are they setting up in Bois de No, no, they've already set up. Why do you ask? Last night, someone tried to accost a child very nearby. It never occurred to me the two cases would be related. Well, there's no reason why they should be. But could you arrange for me to see her? Of course. Have a nice evening, sir. Peter, Helen tells me you're looking into Gerard Borman's circus. That's right, sir. Well, I can vouch for him. He's as clean as a whistle. I've known him ever since a charity thing he did for Chantal in 79. Yeah, well, that may be, sir. But I'm afraid something's not quite right. Well, the problem sure as hell doesn't lie with Gerard. Go and talk to him. Well, that's what I'd like to do, but... Uh, well, Inspector Pelletier wants to send in the stormtroopers. I'd like to try a softer approach. That's the idea. Look, I'm going over there now. Do you think you could pave the way for me? Done. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Good-looking kid. Yeah, they're like a uh, young, fresh. I assure you, Alexander Addington has known the family for years, and you can vouch for the fact that Gerard Bowman is not kidnapping and selling kids to stay afloat. I'd love to believe you, but all your evidence points to that big tub. And nothing in this file you've given me disproves it. And nothing in that file proves it either. I want to nail these people. Of course you do, so do I. Robert, this is a particularly sensitive situation. Gerard Bowman would never survive an official investigation. I mean, can you imagine? 
Just a simple association with kidnapping kids. I mean, they'd shut him down overnight. The punters would stay away in their droves. You keep well with me before you know what I can do. Just give me a little space. OK. What is the matter with you? It's too messy. Three kids in one month is bad enough. But another three, somebody's got to catch on. Oh, by the time they do, we'll be out of the country. I have to get back and set up for tonight's show. Listen, listen. We'll take two more out of the circus tonight. And then we're out of trouble. I don't like snatching them right out of the circus. You know that. Oh, you've got a better idea? Stealing children. <laughs> Mon Dieu, Monsieur Sinclair. The circus is made for children. All circus people love children. We know that, Mr. Borman. That's why Alexander Addington arranged me to see you. I can assure you, we have nothing to do with anything like that. No, we believe you. Unfortunately, the only leads we have have a very strong circus connection, and particularly connected with this show. If there is anyone in my show hurting children, I will tear him apart with my barons. So let's go away. Let's go. I, no, 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 Mr. Bowman, we can't do that. Unfortunately, if the perpetrators get wind of our investigation, oh. they'll just run away and then we'll never find them. So tell me what we can do. Oh, hi, pancake. Hey, Maybe I can work with him. As you can see, he doesn't need good shell. Yes. <laughs> Besides, the glasses are very expensive to replace. <laughs> Come with me. Animals, you know. Mm. I thought of putting you in with them, but I don't think that Renard would approve. Well, maybe I can talk to him. Yeah. She's my wife. Huh. Oh, follow me. I have an idea. Give me a second. Permit me to introduce Markley. Mademoiselle. Hello. <laughs> so what do you have in mind for me? Miss Germain is doing a special story about us. The circus from the inside out for an important newspaper. I would like you to use her as your assistant. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope you are not claustrophobic, Miss Germain. <laughs> well. Antoine, you are late. Come with me. I will introduce you to your new assistant. Stone, Antoine. How you doing? Show him the ropes. Nice guy. Hello? Peter, what have you found out? Helen's been analyzing the phone bills of the dead van driver. Apparently, he made a number of calls to one particular number in Saint-Tropez, to a man called Burroughs. Any connection to the circus? No, we're tracking that down now. Well, if you can get a description of Burroughs, we can keep an eye out for him. Yeah, of course I will. Uh, anyway, I've also got another lead. Break a leg.
do you think you're doing? Is your truck? What about it? Nothing. It's a nice truck. Just figured now that since I got steady work, I'd try and buy me one of these. People around here are very protective about circus property. Hey, no problem, man. I'm cool, you know what I mean? Come on. We're gonna set up for the tiger show. Hey. You've been doing this gig long? I've been here long enough. But if you want to stay on the job, you better learn not to be too nosy. Grab one of these panels. Nice guy. <laughs> Sure, we just have five minutes to undo all this. As soon as it's in place, go get another one. Get moving. Oh, very good, Miss Germont. Yeah. <laughs> so teach me something else. Peter's got a name, Burroughs. He's trying to get us a description. Okay. Where's the rest of your clothes? The magician's got them. Good. Yeah, very good. Maybe we'll make them appear. That was very smart what you did last night. Shouting out like that. My teacher taught us. And then your teacher's very smart, too. I wish more teachers and children would learn some of the same things. Now, Beatrice, could you describe the man to me, the man that frightened you? I don't know. Would you like to try? Okay. and their friends entertain you. Let the show begin! Yeah. Presenting the dull, the brave, the death-defying Diana, mistress of the gender.
Mission in the Bowman series of the balance of war, talent, and the past. For seven generations, talented Popas family has worked together. With no men, no wives, fearlessly daring to fly to the air. Tonight, for your special entertainment on the Russian bar, we are proud to introduce the Popas. <laughs> A lot of possibilities out there. Yeah. Too many possibilities. Gonna get back to work. When you go on? After this act. All right. Well, break a leg. What is it with you guys? Why should I break my leg? It's a show business term for, uh, good luck. Open. And I learned strong. Mr. are you ready? Well, yeah. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the master of magic, Kevin McLean and Batman. to keep an eye on them, you know? They love the animals so much, they forget how dangerous they can be. Take care of him. It's a good idea. Don't forget what he told you, huh? Sylvie, meet my friend Antoine. He works in the circus. Well, why don't you show us round, Antoine? Sure. What would you like to see? The tigers. Sylvie! Nicole, come see the tigers. Tigers? Yes. in the 
audience. He disappeared with two girls. Yeah, Anton's truck's gone, too. Get a hold of Pete. I'm gonna go look for Anton. Okay. state that the children were found in excellent health. The three kidnapped teenagers were found... I'm so sorry I couldn't have been you and Catherine. Thank you, Alexander. But with what you did, I feel she can rest in peace now. Gerald Warman, the owner of the circus, was cleared of any complicity in the affair. But he does fear that the adverse publicity will hurt him and his traveling circus. For over 30 years, this circus and its performers have been dedicated to bringing joy to children. Because of the senseless, cruel act of one man and his associate, this circus may cease to exist. Mr. Eddington, the team is here. You may come. These are the people that we should be really congratulating. Sir, Mr. Kander, I want to thank you all your splendid work. Yeah, well, it's been a long time since I've been to a circus. Yeah, I'm surprised you can remember that far back. What happened to the people who were caught? Well, Antoine will spend a couple of years behind bars. Yes, and Burroughs is cooperating. The authorities are already well on the trail of the kidnapping ring. And as for the circus, a lot depends on Gerard Bowman and whether he can keep his head above water, financially speaking. Well, I wouldn't worry about Mr. Bowman. He's got a new investor. Probably got a brass plaque with your name on it, ringside. Oh, my God, something else for Bennett to polish. Humanity will never be able to consider it so free. While innocent children around the world are still being exploited. 